Okay, Ben here again with another video, and today got a little bit of a complaint. Uh, but it's mostly about not getting what you ordered, even though you're sort of getting what you ordered, but you're not getting what you ordered. Because it's, uh, I opened this up last night. We got Ghostwire Tokyo shipped from Amazon.com in the U.S., and I opened it up, and this is the site I opened, so it didn't occur to me that uh, we've got, what is, well, okay, it's, yeah, it's all over the bag. Uh, it even has to specify that the game is in English, but because it's got Arabic, and I'm like, because I saw that, and I was like, what? And then I open it up, and... Yeah, even the, well, it's more of a manual than uh, I would expect, because you got controls. Hey, as well, props to that, Bethesda, but, but I mean, I, I ordered this from Amazon.com, and you can take a look. So you can clearly see I ordered the U.S. version or North America version with the big, uh, it would be M rating up, right? Right? But I got this version and I don't have a beef with getting this version or the Arabic version if that's what I had ordered, but I ordered the North American version and that's the impetus for this video today. So, Amazon, what I'm saying is you need to do better. But, uh, I mean, I've gone and Soft Star, there we go. Boom, perfect example. So, I went to Red Art Games, I ordered this online, and it's got the EU whatever rating system there. And I don't particularly like it, but I knew what I was getting because this was an EU game. And are they located in France or or what? But I knew that's what I was getting. It's what I ordered, right? And if you go back to 31 Days of Sonic, uh, I ordered the U.S. version of Sonic Mania and got the European version for some reason. Sonic Mania Plus. So I, yeah, I think I talked about it at the time. I wasn't too happy with that. Uh, but God of War. I ordered that in like December or something, or November, because uh, I was hopefully getting a PS5, but see right there, American, boom, Amazon.com, mature, boom, and I expected this to be the same thing, uh, even my NES Classic, I ordered it from Amazon.com, thought I was getting the US version, got the EU version, again, it functions the same but it's not what I ordered. I mean, I should get what I ordered. I'm glad they function the same. If they didn't function the same, it'd be a real problem. But I should get what I ordered, is all I'm saying. And if you look at the back, it even says Shadow Warriors. Uh, but it says Ninja Gaiden in the white font. And it's like, Ugh, no, I should have the Ninja Gaiden box on there because I ordered the US version. But, yeah, this is what I got. Now, uh, I know you saw me go off on a rant about Zelda Musou. No, uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Uh, about it not having English. And this was supposed to be a major Nintendo release. But everywhere except Japan, it was distributed is it published it was published by Nintendo okay so they have English on every version uh, except the Japanese version and all the Japanese version only has Japanese and doesn't have English or any of the other languages so because it's published by Koei Tecmo now that was my beef at the time because you know there are missions and objectives that come up on the fly and I thought, because it was a major Nintendo release, and they have English everywhere else, and games like Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, uh, Kirby, 
what else? Metroid, I mean, I have Japanese versions of many or if not all of the major Nintendo releases and they all have English because they're published by Nintendo. This, published by Koei Tecmo, does not have English for some bizarre reason. Uh, I don't even know why they published it in Japan when Nintendo should be publishing it because they published it everywhere else. Now, keep that in mind, Koei Tecmo, or te yeah, Koei Tecmo, because about half a year later, they released the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection, okay? Now, I guess I didn't learn from my mistakes because I was ordering a Koei Tecmo game, uh, and this one didn't have English, but I ordered this one. And it does have English. What? So, yeah. Japanese version. Japanese version. Same publisher. No English. English. I mean, if you're gonna have one, at least be consistent and have English on both. Or, be consistent and have English on either. But, uh, yeah. So, that's all I'm saying is that companies need to do better. If, and this, again, why are you published by Koei Tecmo instead of Nintendo? Nintendo published it everywhere else except Japan, and it has English. Like, consistency. Either this version should have English, and the rest of the versions should have Japanese also, or, you know, I, I just don't understand. And, but this one does have English, so that makes no sense. And Amazon please do better. If I order something, again, I've got no problem with this version of the game, but it's not what I ordered. This game worked fine and I had fun, but it's not what I ordered. This game is what I ordered. No problem. This is not what I ordered. It functions fine. I've used it for streaming, but still, if I order something, and I ordered Fire Emblem, the UK version, no problem. Uh, but if I order something, I expect it to be what I actually order. So Amazon, please make sure you and your partners and your sellers are selling and not advertising, I guess, promoting the right version of the right product for what people are buying. And yeah, thanks for listening to my rant. Until next time, have a good one.